It's about 7.30 in the morning on our second day here in Ireland. And uh, I decided to get up and go on a jog, humble brag. And uh, it is one of the most amazing runs I've ever been on. I'm only like two miles. But look at the view that you get. Even if you're not a jogger, it is not a bad thing to learn to jog when you go to Ireland. Look at this view. My eyes can't even take in. So I went on a run this morning. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I know, I can't believe he did. Yeah, there's very nothing. Look at this view. Here. And I mean, it just gets more and more beautiful. Oh, yes. I'm sure that it does. The rocky coast and... So this is our cute little room. We're about to leave. And we're all packed up. But the view, I don't remember if I've already showed it. I'm sure Tyler did, but it's just so pretty. So we just had that breakfast out there and we are ready and raring to go. Yeah. Where are we going first? Uh, we're going. Well, we're going into town. Gotta go to a drugstore, get some oh, things we right. forgot, uh, and or didn't want to pack because yeah, like bug yeah. spray. Um, and then we're going to do the Sky Road, and on to Galway City. Tyler's driving on the left for the first time. Oh. He's done a pretty good job. Yeah, we might actually There's the Wild Atlantic Way sign again. The little squiggles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Doing laundry? We're gonna go to the drugstore. Yeah. <laughs> So little known fact about me, I love going into stores, like grocery stores and stuff in other countries. Probably one of my favorite things about traveling. I don't know why. Hey, it's what I'm using at home, but it doesn't sell, say, LV. I love looking at this stuff. Now we have the ultimate blends. We didn't used to have those in the States. Ooh, that one looks nice. We are looking for bug spray, and we can't find it anywhere. <laughs> That's true. To protect us from midges. Yeah, and the lady at the other store recommended this other store, but it's closed right now, so we're like, ah! But we've heard that they're crazy. The mosquitoes, the midges, are crazy in the place we're going today. So we are like trying to be prepared, but we're sucking at it. And this time of year, they're especially bad, from what we've heard. So. They swarm. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know. We said good morning yet? Have we done? I guess we did a little bit of vlogging. Good morning. Everybody. It's still morning. It's still morning. So we had an amazing breakfast at our uh, little Airbnb accommodation. Yeah, get everybody in. My arms aren't that long. <laughs> we had an amazing breakfast, full Irish breakfast that our hostess made us. That was an amazing. Yeah, because she, yeah, she was French. Um, very good. And then we stopped. There's a, a little convenience store that we all stopped at a few minutes ago, and we're all getting coffee now at a little bakery. Uh, and whatever I get, what'd you get? Walsh's Walsh bakery. bakery, yeah. I got a white mocha. Yeah. As I'm, sh I'm showing the receipt. That's our receipt. It's uh, <laughs> 1270 there in case anybody was curious. But we all got, so what did you get, Ben? A, a white mocha. This morning, I have a hazelnut cream oh, yeah. cappuccino. Very Cream vanilla latte. Ooh, and I got black coffee. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> but look at this view. This is So we, we kind of were like, all right, let's grab some coffee and then hit the road. But then we were like, right, maybe maybe we'll just hang out here. But look at this view that we're sitting at. What? <laughs> this is just everywhere. There's water. Okay, see the sheep back here? Sheep up there scratching his butt on a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it really is, you're right. <laughs> it's a, I don't know if I can zoom in hard enough. Look at that sheep. He's got scratching his butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's scratching his butt on a rock. I'm shaking too much. I don't know if you can see it. I'm no, laughing. Sure, it's not. <laughs> Oh, oh, my anyway. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, too beautiful. <laughs> After our much needed coffee, we leave the charm of Clifton and head for Galway City via the Wild Atlantic Way. The Wild Atlantic Way is one of the most scenic, albeit oftentimes narrow, drives in Europe. It stretches all along the west coast of Ireland, passing through nine counties in all. 
Driving in Ireland does take patience and a bit of skill, but don't be frightened by the narrow passages, fast cars, or the one-lane roads that somehow are supposed to have cars going two directions. Just take your time, plan your route well, and enjoy the journey. We're taking it slow, stopping along the way to enjoy the sights and breathe that fresh Irish air. The weather in Ireland can be a bit dodgy. We're visiting in June, which has an average temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. That's about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to bring an umbrella and a raincoat because it will rain. Galway City is a metropolitan city by Western Ireland standards. With a fascinating history dating back to medieval times, Galway is now a town bursting with life. The street scene is lively, complete with buskers, brightly painted pubs, and a multitude of shops. Nearly a quarter of its 76,000 citizens were born outside of Ireland, which gives Galway a unique international flair. Spend time relaxing with locals or shop till you drop. Just don't forget to stop in a local pub and order a Galway hooker, a local Irish pale ale. Okay, so we finally made it to Galway City. Finally. Finally. Didn't, didn't lose our breakfast. Yeah, we were both in the back like <laughs> car sick the entire way. Road. Yeah. How many hours? Like two and a half hours? I didn't drive. That's no way. Right. I felt no, like it was two hours. hours. It, felt like, two hours. Yeah. it felt like four hours. All right, <laughs> let me show you this. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Looks like Diagon Alley. <laughs> it's like very really It's just like it. Everything's like here. Well, especially here. So we found our cure for our car sickness, anything bubbly, and then the ding dongs are still drinking coffee. Someone's driving like maniacs. <laughs> yeah. Fueled by coffee. Uh, coffee. We go coffee until we switch to Guinness, and then that's it. So it's coffee all day, Guinness Just all night, everything. water as you wake up throughout the night. <laughs> black coffee, black Guinness. Gross. Galway is also home to the Collegiate Church of St. Nicholas, the largest medieval parish church in Ireland still in use today. This sizable church sits in the middle of what was once the medieval heart of Galway City. Finished in 1320 AD, this church is dedicated to the patron saint of mariners and children, St. Nicholas of Myra, but you may know him better by his nickname, Santa Claus. Look down, and you'll notice that you're standing on grave markers, a common practice in many medieval European churches. In 1651, Oliver Cromwell's troops used this church as a stable for their horses while they laid siege to the town. It is those troops that are blamed for the missing heads and hands of statues all around the church. It's believed that in 1477, Christopher Columbus himself worshiped here before one of his attempts to reach the new world. Galway's lifeblood is its street scene, so give yourself ample time to stroll along its medieval roads. From the 13th through the 19th centuries, Galway was run by the famous 14 tribes, or more accurately, powerful families of Galway. Of those 14 tribes, the Lynch family was by far the most powerful, with 84 Lynches becoming mayor of Galway over a 169-year span. Lynch's Castle, now an allied Irish bank, is the only castle still standing that belonged to one of the 14 tribes. In the city center is Air Square. It is here, in the center of Air Square, where you will find another monument to the 14 tribes, the Brown Doorway. This facade is the former entrance to the Brown House of 1627. In 1905, it was removed from its original location and placed here. Adjacent to that, you'll find the Galway Hooker, a modern art fountain erected in 1984, designed to celebrate the sales of the fishing vessel known as the Galway Hooker. Just off of Air Square, you'll find a tiny pocket of a park known as the John F. Kennedy Memorial Park. It is here that JFK himself addressed Galway in 1963. The King's Head Pub on High Street in the Latin Quarter has occupied this spot for over 800 years. 
once home to the Lynch mayors of Galway, in 1654 it was seized from him by one of Oliver Cromwell's henchmen, Colonel Peter Stubbers. It is believed that Stubbers was in fact the man that executed King Charles I, thus prompting the name of the pub, the King's Head. We're getting hungry, but we found like a little mall. Accidentally, we stumbled into it. <laughs> but we're looking for food and Emily said, I just want something that I will eat. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to pick it. I want to eat that food. <laughs> What is this place called? I don't even know. Goya's? No, no. No? Wait, is it? Yeah. Oh, it says Goya's up there, yeah. yeah. Ignore me. No, they have someone else's name on the menu. <laughs> it's Goya. Goya's. Anyway, so we're having a little uh, lunch here in Galway. Yeah, we all got a BLT on like garlic sourdough, except Jessica, she got a uh, chicken Caesar salad. Oh, yeah, chicken Caesar salad. Do you get fries with yours? I don't know. I don't know. Do they call them chips in Ireland? No. Or is that? I think so, because they do fish and chips. That sounds right, yeah. It's still here. Anyway, so well, I'm sorry, but it sounded really good. Just a nice little oh, outside area. Nice We're actually right by where we parked our car. We didn't actually even mean to do that. We just kind of ended up here. But uh, yeah, cute little area grab just a, out here. Grab a beer oh, after lunch. this. Doing lunch. Doing this. Grab a Galway hooker after this and a beer. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually, diddly eye music. <laughs> yeah, we just learned. Yeah, our waitress was like. We said, where should we go if we want to get a beer after this? She said, well, do you want diddly eye? And we were like, what? <laughs> Is that a beer? <laughs> and we were like, yeah? And she's like, well, diddly eye music, you know, like traditional music. I'm like, ah, I love oh, it. Yes. Totally call it diddly eye from that one. So, I don't know. So we'll see where we go after here. But I'm just going to get a beer and then uh, the burn a little bit later. into this bar and it's pretty cool. Yes, it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty dark. It's cool. It makes you feel normal drinking beer in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, this is correct. Just got in the car. Emily and I got in the car because <laughs> our side was open but I have to pull forward to let them in so I locked the doors. I'm going to make them dance to get in the car. <laughs> Hold on. I can run in the window. If you guys want in, you have to dance. Irish jigs. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Welcome in. So this is what the Irish consider to be a two-lane road. Rock fences on both sides. Like li we just passed somebody, or it, like we came head on, and they literally had to back up. I don't know, a couple hundred meters, so that they could get we could get around each other. There's cow. Oh, baby cows. Moon cows. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is a two-lane road in Ireland. So we were trying to find the entrance to the burn and we were having trouble. We drove all the way around. See if anyone so finally, yeah, this, okay, hold on. Look at this house, first of all. Anybody recognize that house? It's supposed to be very famous right in these now. parts. You can't hardly see it behind these bushes. Uh, oh, can you see it? Oh, there, oh, there you go. You'll be able to see it. Here we go. Anybody recognize this house? I'm about to tell you about it anyway. Entry by appointment. Anyway, so that's the Father Ted house. And the Father Ted, so we, we couldn't find the entrance to the, the Burren National Park. So we were we were close to it, and so we finally stopped and asked somebody that looked like they were Irish. And they were, we looked Very Irish. Very <laughs> Irish, and she was so sweet, and she said, she said a lot of things, but she said, oh, you're looking for the Father Ted house? And we were they like, have the gift of gab. no. And she's like, do you know what Father Ted is? We were like, no. <laughs> or she said, do you know Father Ted? And we were like, how would we know Father Ted? Who's Father Ted? You're gonna take the camera. Oh yeah. yeah he's so I was driving. like, uh, who's Father Ted? And she's like, oh, it's a TV show or something. She said it's really funny. So she's like, yeah, the house is right up here on the right. And so we're like, well, I don't know which one it is. Well, as we're driving on our map, it said Father Ted house right here. But apparently it's like a sitcom. That's where it was filmed. She said it's on YouTube though, so already. Yeah, yeah, maybe on YouTube. I don't know. So I have to look funny. it up. So yeah, she said it's quite funny. She also asked about our shoes. She asked a lot of things. Anyway, so I think we're finally almost to the entrance to the Burren National Park to do some hiking Sweet. in this desolate landscape. But oh, is it desolate? Oh, a great Pyrenees. No way. Oh, Little guy. Oh, he's, he's a mix, I think. Hi, sweetie. Hello, booby boy. Burren National Park offers some of the best hiking in Ireland. While hikes often consist of many steps and rocky, uneven footpaths, the Burren's beauty more than makes up for the sore feet. Upon first glance, it may seem as though the Burren is 10 square miles of desolate, rocky landscape with little discernible life. But after closer inspection, a delicate and diverse ecosystem begins to unfold, 
providing the hiker with an experience unlike any other. The rocky terrain, narrow passages, and jagged inclines are all worth it, however, when you get views like this. Throughout the Burren, you'll also find the crumbling remains from its Iron Age inhabitants, who lived here 6,000 years ago. The town of Doolan, often referred to as the music capital of Ireland, is spread along the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean, just north of the Cliffs of Moher. Doolan's lively music scene is best enjoyed in its small pubs like McDermott's and Gus O'Connor's. Even with the tourists now flocking to this once off-the-grid town, the Doolan musicians still offer top-notch performances on a nightly basis. We are currently in a traditional, touristy Irish pub. They all are. They all, they all <laughs> hear more American accents than Irish accents. But that's okay, because it's still fun. They, uh, we're, we're in Doolan right now, supposedly is the music capital area, and every, every bar around here has live music. Uh, but they're, uh, I mean, we're, we're a little bit, I don't know, maybe half a mile down the road from the downtown area, but there's a ton of B&Bs right around this area. And all the B&Bs uh, are the same. They have like the same, they, they are, literally this, built yeah. for... To be, Every to be room B&Bs. has a bed and then a, its own bathroom. So they, they have to have like six bathrooms in these houses, so there's no way that was original. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they built to like be B&Bs. They have like a separate room for like the eating. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> two for two with blow dryers. Also, yeah. breakfast included in all of these, and a lot of like Airbnbs, which we've done in the past. Are really like, yeah, like these are true B and Bs that are just being sold on Airbnb, which is great. We get breakfast every day, and so it's it's pretty great. Uh, but we're uh, we were kind of late here, so we're getting like one of the last dinners of the night. But they're about to start playing live music, so that's gonna like be right awesome. There. Yeah, like right there. So it's gonna be real loud. Yeah. But, uh, I'm very excited to hear some traditional touristy like music. Awesome, Absolutely. What they call it? Deedle Deedle Die. No, that's 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 Deedle Die. Deedle Die. That's a different area. Sounds um, like a good time. Diddly. We just talked about it in this vlog, but that was like you know eight hours ago for us. Deedle Die. Fiddly Die. Fiddly Die. Fiddly Die. Diddly Die. Diddly Die. Diddly Die. Some Diddly Die music. It's really dark. There's a little lamp there. Yeah. But we're walking back. You probably can't see it all. We're walking back to our Airbnb from the bar that we were just uh, enjoying. These I guys were incredible. I actually yeah. bought a CD. I think can't see after it. selling so many, we figured we'd... When you yeah. recap, that instrument, the Illin... The, the Illin pipe. Illin yeah. pipe. A mix of an accordion because of the bellows, an oboe because of the reeds that had dou four double reeds, three single reeds, a bagpipe, obviously. <laughs> Uh, a clarinet maybe, but that's kind of, I don't know, it's insane. Yeah, it was... Turn on the flash on your video. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I should do that. Well, I can't turn it on while I'm filming, Honestly, but... there were times where anyway. I was having oh, trouble... Oh yeah, oh look at that! that violin and Hi, I'm so apart. scared right now. <laughs> anyway, what were we saying, Emily? I'm sorry. No, there were times where I was like, I can't tell if that's the violin or this pipe thingy. A lot like, of times, yeah, they were playing the, the melodies like yeah. together, and you, yeah. it, it blended so well, you couldn't even tell what was yeah. what. It and then was the so other, cool. like, I felt like oh, the, the violin. It, I'm gonna put this back just so they see us. Yeah. The uh, turn with the flashlight. The guitarist <laughs> was also like, too fast. Because he had a, a different kind of guitar too, eight strings. Yeah, it was yeah two or I'm sorry, four sets of two. Don't run into oh, the wall. They're stopping. Oh, just trying to not be roadkill. Anyway. No, it's too scary. That'd be a little more awkward than just a little skunk or something. 
me laying in the rabbit hole. All right. Anyway, so we're going to end this vlog here, but it was super dark. They were so good. I got a little bit of footage of them, but they were unbelievable. They were so good. Um, so tonight we're going to go to bed. Tomorrow we wake up, we do a dueling cave in the Cliffs of Moher. Yeah. What? What? Also kind of a bummer there are no street lights out here, but also no stars because of overcast. Because of overcast. <laughs> yeah, <you can> be. <laughs> this would have been so perfect. Oh, there's so many stars. Just... So much. Ah. What are you going to do?